Okay, good afternoon. Uh, now I'm going to make a small tutorial of how to make a cross section from a topographic map. When we have a topographic map, the first thing that we have to do is to check where is the north. In this case, it's pointing to the upper part of the of my sheet, and I need one scale. I have to check it. In this case, we don't have scale. I will start with a simple one. We can start with one scale that is 1 to 10,000. That means that one unit in the map is 10,000 units in the field. That is, one centimeter in the map will be 10,000 centimeters in the field, which is the same as saying 100 meters. Okay? So we're going to make the cross section from X to Y. So, the, for making the cross section, the first thing that we need is an auxiliary paper. We take this paper and we mark the start of the cross section, the point X, and the finish of the cross section, the point Y. And then, at every point, we mark the different topographic lines that we are crossing through my cross-section and I also will mark the topographic altitude of this. In this case, this line is 640, this is 640, 640, 660. I will also mark uh, the topographic singularities. For example, here I have one river, here I have one road, here we have one peak, here I have one city, and here I have another river. Right? So now we, that we have marked all the points that we are crossing in our cross-section, we will start to make the cross-section. In this case, this cross-section is about 18 centimeters, 18 centimeters, that it will be like 1,000 meters, 1,800 meters, okay, according to this scale. So, to make my cross-section, I need one paper, which is marked at a known distance, so in order that I can calculate the distance. The best option is to use one millimeter paper, but if I don't want to use a millimeter paper, I can use, and in this case, these squares are about five millimeters each, so I know that uh, I can apply my scale. So I will draw, first of all, my axis. I'm going to draw my vertical axis and my, and my horizontal axis. As I mentioned, the scale is 1 10,000. That means one unit in the map is 10,000 units in the field. That means, that means one centimeter is 100 meters. So, I have to put my scale. So, one centimeter, I'm going marking different centimeters. Okay, if I take a look to my map, I see that the higher point is about a 750. So, I will mark, for example, here 800 meters, 700 meters. 600, 500, 400, and 300. This is my equidistance, and this is the scale which is respecting this scale. Okay, so at this point, I can come here, mark the starting point of my cross section. I could say that my point section, my cross section can start maybe. Here, this would be my point X, 
and I will start putting the different uh, altitudes. This is X, so the first point is a 640, this would be 650, here another point at 650, 660, 680. And this will be the final point. So now I can connect my points. I have two points at the same altitude. So this could be like this or something like this. But here I'm coming from down. So this would be Okay, this will be my topography at this scale. Okay, now I can introduce the different elements. Here I know that I have a river, and here I have a road, here I have the peak, and here I have city and here I have against the river so I can refine my topography just drawing the valley here in this case the road should be something more plain this is a peak let's draw this peak here we have a small city and here finally we have the valley okay now i have my cross section prepared so let's make uh, let's uh, take a look of what's happening if i change my scale so in this case instead of using this scale i will use another scale 1.5 thousand Okay, that means that one unit in the map is 5,000 maps in the field. That means that one centimeter is uh, 50 meters, right? In this case, this is the same. What I have to do is change my cross section. So I will draw, draw again. So the scale in this case was 1, 5,000. That means that I will get my vertical axis mark my centimeters and that means that if here I have the altitude of 800 one centimeter will be 50 meters this is one centimeter, 50 meters, one centimeter, 50 meters. Okay. So this would be the same that marking a graphical scale like this. Zero, one hundred, two hundred, right? So I take my auxiliary paper again. I mark the starting point of my cross, my cross section. I put my Z here and I will mark 640. Again, it's going to 625, 640, 660. Okay, so now I can connect the points again.
Okay, and again, I can mark the singular points. The river here, the road here, the peak here, the city here, and the, again the river here. So, in this valley, I have the river here. The road, usually it's something that is flat. I have the peak more or less here. And I have a small valley of this river here. And here I should have the village. Okay. And now we, let's compare with the previous one. And we can see the difference. Okay. In this case, the change in the scale has effect. Okay. The, the altitude. So take a lot of care about using the scale because if you don't uh, mark the appropriate scale, you can have troubles in your uh, cross-section. That's all. See you.